I'm gonna try to do this as mysterious as possible. Make it look like I'm in some dire straits. It's because we are in dire straits. You see, you see how he just told us we're about to go to another war. We're about to enter World War III, which has already started. You see how he told us what's going to happen next. This man is scared to death. Look at him. He's not dumber than Bush. He sees what Bush did, and he looks scared. Now we have to stay in the region. Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran? Why? I'll tell you what I would do if I was the President of the United States of America. And I know this is going to sound sorry, sad, or pitiful. I come from a time and place where if people want to fight, let them fight. And when the dust settle, that's who we do business with. But instead, if my neighbor calls me up and says, come on over, man, I'm having a problem. If it ain't trying to fix the fence, if it ain't trying to grow the grass or help a garden thing project or something, move some tree limbs, I ain't fucking with you. If you got somebody ready to put mud hole in your ass and it ain't got nothing to do with anything that I had anything to do with, fuck you. You don't just go jump on people because they need help. What put them in a position to where these people want to kill them? That ain't got nothing to do with me. It's not fair. We have to save Israel. So, when we save Israel, America's damn near wiped out. What is Israel going to do for America? They got oil in Israel? If they do, and we helping them like we helping them, then shouldn't our gas prices go down? We got military over there. Why don't you convoy that Israel oil on home so the gas prices go down? Matter of fact, why don't Israel send some fucking jobs over to this motherfucker? We're sending our troops over there to fight people in that region for them and other people. Why don't they send some fucking jobs this way? Um, uh, the little New World Order thing? Why don't you pay us off? Give us something. Because people dying and suffering is visual. People dying with, what's the word? What's the word I want to use here? People dying with purpose knowing that they're living good already, you can't see them. If everybody had this nice, wonderful life, you couldn't see people dying. You understand what I'm saying? So, we as American citizens, the poor Americans, sign up for the military services as a way to get an education and to save our families. We send them overseas to die and fight for someone else. Send our jobs overseas to fund a promise. Now that we've sent our industry away, our education is failing. Now what do we do? Fuck it. Let's war some more. And so when we're all depleted, dead, barely surviving in this motherfucker, you know what's going to happen? They're going to dust off these neighborhoods. They're going to push the homeless out of the street, get rid of the undesirables, throw them all away in jails. 
reforming institutions of, uh, you know, and then they're going to turn this place into a big fucking timeshare for rich people all over the fucking world to come here and chill out because they've got rid of the riffraff. The riffraff contains of those whites that couldn't keep a job during all this. Those blacks couldn't keep a job in all this. Those Mexicans who couldn't keep their shit in all this. We've got rid of all the riffraff. No more ghettos. All their kids have gone overseas fighting a the war. They'll never have to come home. Turn this motherfucker to one great big fucking timeshare. Visit San Francisco, CLA. Check out the Washington Monument. Do New York downtown. Colorado, Denver, Aspen. Think about it. We go fight another war. We'd be fighting three wars. What what was the name of that comedy movie? Team America World Police. You hear him? We need to get our friends involved. Sound like the last motherfucker. Allies in the community. You need not fight your neighbor. Yeah. They're not fighting the fucking neighbor. They came and got us to do it. You know what? This fucking video has pissed me off. Motherfuckers can't get jobs. They're making cars that fucking run on water in in Japan. We gonna export them motherfuckers here and ain't gonna make no no money off that either. We have the technology. But see, these people in charge create uh, an excuse. Well, that's just not safe. Then, you know, we'll give the idea to somebody overseas and they'll sell it to us. We've probably all been here to market. They brought us all here to the market. The great American experiment is over, everybody. This guy might be the last president you see. This man here who looks scared to fucking death because he knows what's finna go down. He might be the next president. And he looks frightened. P.O.W. He looks scared to me. But Barack can save us. Barack looks scared too. I guess both these guys must have had a briefing on what's really going down. They're like, damn, George did all that? Oh, shit. We're fucked. George, you did the best you could. You thought you was doing great shit. John McCain was there doing George's whole shit. He know what George was doing. That's why both of these guys, well, we might have to stay in the region a little longer. Both of them are saying the same shit. Wake up, fucking people. I have nothing, no education, no nothing. But I can still see the future. What the fuck is really going on here? Let me get back on track. What the fuck is really going on here? Oh, let me. What in the hell have we allowed ourselves to come to when all they do is make up excuses? Excuses why we can't have the technologies. Then they wean it to us, overcharges for it. Now we can't afford it. Now they want us to pay up to six to ten dollars for gas. Yes. Oh, ten dollars. Ten dollars. If I got 115 miles a fucking gallon, $10 all day. But I ain't got time. They fucking us, I ain't got no money. I got to get out and go get some work. So I got to go, but I want to leave y'all on one thought. This man looks scared. If you can't see it, it ain't dumb. It's scared. Fear. They can smell that shit overseas. They trying to get us all fucked. I got to go. Oh, yeah, um... Boss, I like this. I'm glad how you pulled this off there. Um, oh, yeah. You've been tubed.